Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with Coffee with Jody's 60th episode and today we're going to be talking about the continuous improvement and optimizing the whole. So for continuous improvement, which is the first lean principle, we're going to talk about the way that you implement this is through daily incremental actions. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I used to be the kind of person, and sometimes I still have to fight it, that wants to go in, do a whole bunch of work, wrap it all up in a box, put it on the shelf, and I'm done. That's not the essence of this principle of continuous improvement. It's the daily habit of actually sweeping, sorting, and standardizing to improve little by little the processes in your business. So for instance, there are about seven different business principles that you and I live and die by in our business. So you might think of it like business development, invoicing and collections, and you can fill out the ones that are unique to you if you're in different kinds of industries. And then going about identifying where can we create improvements here. The best examples of this that I've seen is the work by Paul Akers on his website on Two Second Lean and Banishing Sloppiness. That's a great resource. But the essence of it is that it's a daily practice and that it's practiced throughout the entire team. In a starting place is fix what bugs you. That's what we did throughout 2020 and are continuing to do now. So that's the essence of continuous improvement. Now as we shift down into optimizing the whole, there are a couple of other things that I want to share with you. Like you want to make everything in the company visible to the entire team. We do that by utilizing a number of tools. We use Asana. We use our daily huddles, which our daily huddles are half an hour. There's all kinds of um, advice on how long they should be. Ours are half an hour. And we do it at 8 o'clock in the morning every single day and have done it every single day since April of last year. And what that does is it allows us to be, all of us, on the same page. We do a learning. We do a check-in. We do what are we grateful for. But we're really looking at being in communication. The tools that we use throughout the day are Teams and Asana. Asana for the tasks and project management type uh, processes that we have, and Teams to be housing our wiki and to be able to do almost like instant messaging through Teams, um, which is an op Office, uh, Microsoft Office tool. So we are streamlining our communication and we are enabling visibility across the organization. The last one is how do you make faster and smarter decisions in the business? Establish your customized KPIs. So KPIs, key performance indicators that allow you to take actions to address those things that are indicators of key performance and effectiveness in your business. Now key performance indicators are typically lagging indicators. So these daily conversations and weekly meetings allow you to be on top of it so it's not you know, a report that you get at the end of the quarter or even at the end of the month that you can't do anything about. Another concept is that of critical drivers. I first heard about this from Keith Cunningham and his book, The Blueprint to a Wildly Successful Business. And he talks about critical drivers as leading indicators. You know, so if we're saying, you know, we need to have so many sales, what were the actions that needed to happen before that that made sure that those sales happened? Whether it's lead generation or foot calling or follow-up or following a sales process, whatever those, those uh, processes are in your business. So continuous improvement is a habit. That habit builds momentum over time to give you that momentum curve in your business. And then the optimizing the whole 
can go anywhere from optimizing the whole of the organization all the way down to optimizing the whole of a particular process like client service development. That allows you to utilize resources effectively of your time, team, and money. It allows for more profitable engagements and it allows you to make better decisions faster. So I hope that you see some actions that you can take in your business from this conversation. And if you do, I'd love to hear what they are. And if you got value from this, please share it, like it, and subscribe, and then put your comments in. We'll be focusing on these eight lean principles throughout this month, and those are the first two.